welcome all in today's class let us see what exactly is enthalpy and generally we use the equation h is equal to u plus pv now some students asked me a question sir is this equation applicable for open system or closed system or for both or is this equation applicable for reversible process or irreversible process or for both let me clear all your doubts including the physical meaning of enthalpy now so i request you to watch till the end so if you are not interested kindly don't watch there is no problem i am not forcing you but the only thing is if you want to know all about like reversible irreversible open close then you have to watch till the end that is the only request right let's get into the topic now i have water in this bottle and i have closed it it's a closed system now my system is water now my system is water it is a closed system because no mass is entering no mass is leaving it is a closed system let's see what are the energies associated with closed system now please look at my dear friends this water bottle i am moving like this dekho let us say i am moving this water bottle like this yes 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 now you have seen so when it is moving i have tracked the path let me explain again let me explain again my dear students ek second please now observe here so now we have tracked ek second please ha now this is the water bottle now water bottle is here now it's moving like this yes 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 now look at at any point of time let us see what this closed system energy comprises of so i want to see what is its energy at this point so if you take any reference level it has a potential energy so as it is moving it has velocity so there is kinetic i am writing the total energy of a closed system let me repeat i am writing the total energy of closed system this total energy is given by it has kinetic energy that is half mv square half mv square so i write half mv square kinetic energy and it is at some height so i write it as mgz that is potential energy now we are writing energy of our system which is water do you think we are missing something mm, i think we are missing something what is that look at this is moving so gross please look at whatever we have calculated this have you entered at the molecular level no sir you have not entered at the molecular level these are gross at the macroscopic level gross means complete not individual molecules that's why we call this as macroscopic form macroscopic form macroscopic form don't you think uh, we are missing something i think so sir there is we have seen this is moving so we have seen kinetic energy of this it has potential energy but molecules also have energy which we call it as internal energy which is internal to the system molecules translate molecules rotate molecules vibrate they have bonding chemical energy so there is some energy associated with molecules when you are taking the total energy of the system we have to take everything into account so therefore the total energy all forms of microscopic energy associated with molecules we call it as internal energy so therefore now i write u and this is nothing but microscopic let me repeat microscopic so therefore for a closed system i repeat for a closed system this is a closed system because water is not flowing it is a closed system for a closed system we have look at my dear students we have kinetic potential which is gross and internal energy as i told you that internal energy is the microscopic form all microscopic forms of energy associated with molecules no problem this is for a closed system generally if the closed system is stationary let us say it is stationary what does stationary mean it is neither moving up nor moving down means there is no change in potential energy it is stationary so there is no change in velocity now you may be wondering so what are you going to do with stationary system closed stationary system what are you going to do with closed stationary system let us say i am supplying heat who is taking that molecules are taking so will you find any change in potential energy no 
So change in energy in that case for a closed stationary system, the change in energy is change in kinetic, change in potential, change in internal. So if it is a closed stationary system, unlike previous case, in previous case it was moving. So therefore it had gross kinetic energy, gross potential energy and gross uh, like there is internal energy. Now if it is stationary, there is no change in kinetic, there is no change in uh, potential energy there will be therefore change in energy is only change in internal energy for a closed stationary system great now what we do is so please understand for a closed stationary system the total energy comprises of microscopic and macroscopic this microscopic is internal energy all forms of energy associated with molecules this is absolutely fine no problem now the same fluid same fluid now let us see please listen earlier it was closed now look at now it is flowing it's a flowing fluid so now i can call this as open system is there any difference sir so will there be any difference now let us see the energy is associated with open system very good now dear students understand carefully let us assume this to be our control volume or I am analyzing this portion, this portion. The fluid is flowing, say the fluid is flowing like this. When it is flowing, complete fluid, it has kinetic energy. It has potential energy, means it is at some reference height, reference height. And already you know, it has internal energy. So now the question arises is, Sir, you have already told that for a station, a closed system, it has internal potential kinetic. Then it is an open system. The fluid is flowing. Is there any additional component coming into picture? Ek second, Ruku. Now, let us take this portion of the fluid. My, I repeat, let us take this portion of the fluid, which is about to enter. So when it is about to enter, I have taken small element of the fluid. Let the volume, don't get confused. So, chalo, uh, velocity, let me represent with C because volume uh, starts with V. Velocity starts with V. So velocity, let me represent with C, volume as V. Let V be the volume of the fluid and there is a resisting pressure. Now it has to move. Definitely some work is, let us assume that the area of this, the element is like this. The fluid element is like this. Now its area is A and let its length be x and it is about to enter it is about to enter the control volume it is about to enter this portion is about to enter the control volume means definitely if the pressure is p here to overcome that some work is to be done some force is to be applied so that it enters and let us see how much work is done definitely you have to do because what is work force into distance in the same direction so some work is to be done so therefore now i am applying f so let us see if there is no acceleration so what is the force required whatever is the resistance so therefore let the pressure be p and what is the force the force is pressure into area pressure into area so this is f now what is the work done and it is to if you want to cause this element to move completely how much distance it has to move so if you want for example let me tell you very clearly eight seconds sirs let us assume this is the i'm showing you this boundary this is the boundary of control volume and this here the pressure is p here the pressure is p and at the volume of this vv so area into length now look at so how much distance it has to move if you want this to enter completely it has to move through a distance of x means now i write the work done is equal to pa that is force into x pa into x what is area into x so a is the area x is the length area into length is volume of this element which is about to enter so therefore p into v p into v and this work we call it as flow work what is flow work the work done in causing the fluid element either to enter or to leave i can show you that in order to uh, cause the fluid element to leave this the work is again pv so this we call it as flow work and some people call it as flow energy some people call it as convected energy some people call it as transport energy and they say it is a property because pressure is a property volume is a property 
combination of properties PV. They call it as property. Chalo, we'll see a little later. So flow work is a property. So therefore, PV it is entering. What is PV? Iska matlab hai, in closed system, you have not found that PV component. But in open system, you, have, you are finding out PV. Means to cause the fluid element either to enter or leave, some additional component is coming. Now let us see what is that additional component. Just now I told you. Means that flow work component is coming. Because of that it is entering. Because of that flow work it is entering. Because of that flow work it is leaving. But in uh, closed system, there is, no, there, uh, there is no flow work. That's why there is no cross of mass. Means now I can write, in open system, my dear students, in open system, now I can write, dear students, eight second please, in open system, now I can write that, eight second please, one second please, mm. right, now absolutely fine, in open system, already you have seen, uh, there is internal energy, already you have seen kinetic energy, already you have seen potential energy, but there is, as it is flowing, some work is to be done in causing the element to enter the control volume or to leave the control volume. Means additionally, this term is coming. So already you have seen this in closed system. Already you have seen the closed system. If you want to write energy of open system, it is energy of closed system plus additional. Because of this additional term, it is flowing. Now I will write let me combine u plus pv okay plus kinetic energy plus potential energy my dear students the kinetic energy potential energy what is it it is macroscopic it's not at the molecular level it's not at the molecular level and this is microscopic that is at the molecular level so for convenience I write this as some h plus ke plus pe and this is macroscopic and this is microscopic oh my god let's see the beauty here now let's see the beauty here dear students okay okay my additional <coughs> wait says no for closed system, for a closed for a closed system, the total energy is so energy of the closed system is kinetic energy plus potential energy plus internal energy. What is this, sir? It is microscopic. Then Energy of the open system is what, sir? Kinetic energy plus potential energy plus U plus PV. And this is microscopic. Now, I am defining this as, as it is microscopic, as it is a combination of properties. Let me define for convenience some H. Now, can I write energy of the open system as kinetic energy plus potential energy plus H? Absolutely. Now, you compare this. This macroscopic is common. What is the difference? U H means now I will define what enthalpy exactly and physically is. Internal energy is the microscopic form of energy of a closed system. Internal energy is the microscopic form of energy of the closed system. And enthalpy is the microscopic form of energy of flowing system. Internal energy is the microscopic form of, uh, sorry, uh, internal energy is the microscopic form of energy of closed system and enthalpy is the microscopic form of energy of flowing system or open system. Now the question arises, sir, we are very happy. The way you said internal energy is the microscopic energy of closed system and enthalpy is microscopic energy. In interviews, if they ask you what is enthalpy, your answer should be, Enthalpy is the microscopic form of energy of open system or flowing system. Now the question arises. Sir G, for convenience you have defined U plus PV as uh, enthalpy and you have also said we are very happy that it is the microscopic form of energy of open system. 
is enthalpy defined only for open system sirs we are not happy my student said dear students this is the definition of enthalpy u plus pv mathematically and physically what is physically physically it should be highlighted i repeat physically it should be highlighted dear students physically it should be highlighted physically what is enthalpy it is the microscopic form of energy of flowing fluid or open system now the question arises is is the enthalpy defined only for open system so what is the mathematical equation of enthalpy h is equal to u plus pv this is mathematical definition and what is physically microscopic form of energy of flowing fluid now one student asked me a question sir kya enthalpy sirf closed open system ke liye define kiya jata hai is the enthalpy defined only for open systems the answer is no if it is no then i have to explain that i have to show you what enthalpy is representing in closed system also na great this word enthalpy was first coined by robert mollier m o l l i e r mollier the greek word of this is actually enthalpian enthalpian from this word the word enthalpy was coined and it was first given by mollier that's why my dear students in mollier diagram you will be seeing hs because this enthalpy term was first given by mollier that's why in mollier diagram you see enthalpy sir ye sab sahi hai sir historical background kyu chahiye hame physical meaning chahiye chalo theek hai now you know that for open system enthalpy is what it is the microscopic form of energy of so all forms of energy associated with open system because in closed system there is no flow work but in open system there is flow internal energy ke sath sath there is flow work so when you add internal energy plus flow work that will give me enthalpy great now let's see the beauty here mostly this term was used by chemical engineers during chemical reactions enthalpy of formation they use uh, chemical engineering students they use this now let us take closed system and see the beauty of enthalpy in a closed system because already in open system we have seen u plus pv flow work plus the work which is uh, used in causing the fluid element to enter plus internal g that component is enthalpy for open system so now i'm not i'm not saying that it is defined for open system no 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 it is a general term let's see now let us take a container in this container let us take a fluid maybe liquid maybe gas for a moment let us assume it is massless for a moment assume this to be massless and you know the atmosphere is exerting pressure if you draw the free body diagram of this piston i repeat to kya hoga sir inside the fluid is exerting the pressure it is in equilibrium sir and this is massless to so mass is zero iska weight zero hoga because it is massless and there is external pressure that is atmospheric pressure let us heat it now you tell me is it a closed system or open system is it a closed system or open system it is a closed system because inside fluid is neither leaving nor any additional fluid is entering the system my fluid is a closed system wonderful sirs let us heat it let me supply q here amount of heat now observe clearly can i say it is a constant pressure process and let us say the piston is moving at a uniform velocity when i am heating let us say the piston is moving at uniform velocity it means there is no acceleration that means when there is no acceleration net upward net dynamic equilibrium net upward net downward is equal therefore so now fluid pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure so my atmospheric pressure is not changing that's why the fluid pressure is same pressure so we are carrying out at constant pressure now the question is sir why are you taking constant pressure dear students in chemical engineering most of the reactions you take a beaker and in beaker it is open to atmosphere now some chemical reaction is going on at what pressure it is going on atmospheric pressure so most of the uh, processes are carried out under constant pressure conditions that's why so you know very well when most of the things are going on at one particular conditions we prefer that aisa koi rule nahi hai there is no hard and fast rule but as most of the things are happening under constant pressure so therefore i prefer this now look at sirs 
you know from first law of thermodynamics d dash q is equal to du plus d dash w so let me use this for a closed system and these two are in exact differentials these two are not properties these two are path functions and energy internal energy is a property and it is a point function now look at my dear students it is a closed system great now d dash q is equal to du plus work what is closed system work it is pdb now one student says sir you are misleading us then i ask why sir this is strictly valid for reversible process does it mean that you are carrying out a reversible process yes for a moment yes for a moment yes let me show you all the things for a moment yes let us say there is no friction and in a quasi static frictionless beautifully slow manner i am carrying out it is a reversible so if it is reversible for a closed system undergoing reversible process work is given by pdb be careful sirs i cannot use pdb for any closed system process it should be applied only for a closed system undergoing reversible process for the moment for a moment let us assume that it is reversible process exactly now so let us see what is the heat transfer so heat transfer is equal to du can i write du as u2 minus u1 yes now here the pressure is constant here the pressure is constant let us assume that when i supply heat the piston is moving upwards let us say this is the initial volume after some time the piston is here great it means now there is a change in volume so original volume was v1 now afterwards the volume is v2 so let me write du is u2 minus u1 and you know the pressure is constant and thereby i'll write this as change in volume so whatever the heat you have supplied initially a second please but i'll i'll make it very clear sirs i'll make it very clear do not worry do not worry there is a system let the volume be v1 and now i am heating afterwards let us say this is the volume v2 i am supplying heat and what is constant the pressure is constant and it is moving slowly in a quasi static manner and there is no friction therefore it is reversible so therefore d dash q is equal to du plus d dash w so now can we write this as p p what does p represent it is undergoing at a constant pressure so du is u2 minus u1 u2 is this internal energy u1 is this internal energy as it is a property it has that value at a particular state so final minus initial okay plus work reversible closed system and moreover constant pressure work is given by pdb for a closed system undergoing reversible so now here work is given by p uh, p is constant what is the change in volume v2 minus v1 why the volume is changing because you are supplying heat so can we write this as pv2 minus pv1 yes sir the work is given by but whether it is p1 or p2 the pressure is same whether it is this pressure or this pressure whether it is p1 or p2 it is a constant pressure therefore i am writing so can we write p as p2 can we write p as p1 yes my dear students so p2 v2 minus p1 v1 absolutely so d dash q is equal to u2 plus p2 v2 excellent minus you take minus common u1 plus p1 v1 so what is this already have defined enthalpy u plus pv is enthalpy so therefore d dash q plus e is equal to h2 minus this is h1 what is the system close door open it is a closed system so you have seen enthalpy for open system now it is a closed system don't think that enthalpy is valid only for open system it is a closed system for a closed system what is enthalpy representing the change in enthalpy is representing the heat transfer so for a constant pressure process the heat transfer is change in enthalpy for a closed system matlab enthalpy concept i can use even for closed system so therefore ek baat clear ho gayi so one point is very clear so enthalpy term i can use for closed i can use for open system in a closed system when it is a constant pressure process the heat transfer is change in enthalpy now the question that comes to is mind is sir is it only for constant pressure are you predominantly most of the process are occurring at constant pressure therefore i have used this what's wrong in this that's why my dear students some people call enthalpy as heat content heat content of the system 
but it means when they use the word heat content it means they are referring to closed system when they say microscopic form of energy of flowing fluid they they mean that it is applicable for what flowing system open systems so don't get confused sir mera mathematical formula to ek hi rahega my mathematical formula is same that is u plus pv usme koi fark nahi hai there is no change so now again one student asked me a question sir you are very smart you are playing with us so initially you started with open system now you have given for closed system we are very happy that the term enthalpy i can use for open closed there is no problem then i said what is the problem then he said sir 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 you have used pdv but pdv is valid only for pdv is valid only for only for closed system uh, sorry reversible closed system reversible but can i say that if it is a closed system i can apply only for reversible now see the beauty now you will see the beauty till now i took reversible now i'll take irreversible closed system reversible we have discussed so h is equal to u plus pv i can use for as the heat transfer in a closed system reversible just now you have seen now let us take irreversible dear students let us take irreversible and see whether i get the same or not dekho ek baar let's enjoy sir let's enjoy aram se let us take the piston cylinder arrangement now there is a huge friction here the, the piston is moving at a uniform velocity no problem there is a huge friction here look at carefully actually if you see the view of the piston the piston is like this this is the piston now this is the area if the diameter this is the area on this the fluid is exerting and definitely it is a constant pressure process dekho it's a constant pressure process no doubt about it ek second dekho sir aaram se no tension dekho look at what is the pressure let us say it is massless assume this to be massless and this is atmospheric pressure absolutely fine now inside the gas is exerting as this is massless for equilibrium whatever the fluid pressure is there the same is atmospheric pressure when i heat when i heat the piston is moving at a uniform velocity assume that the uni, uh, it is uniform velocity there is no acceleration so for dynamic equilibrium this and this will be same so can i say now there is atmosphere here observe clearly dear students bahut carefully suna to can i say this as the force is given by p atm into a can i say the force is given by because this is acting on this complete circular area piston is like this it is act this is the piston look at this is the piston now the piston is moving so on this area the atmosphere is exerting so what is the force p atmosphere into this area absolutely fine now let us heat it there is a huge friction here now what will happen it is moving definitely it is not reversible it is irreversible there is a friction now i i heat it after heating say the piston is somewhere here let us say it has traveled through a distance x listen carefully sir this is the original volume and this is the final volume can i call this as change in volume can i call this as change in volume yes my dear students can you give me what is change in volume dear students can you give change in volume it is this volume can i write it as area this is original volume and finally it is occupying this volume what is the change in volume it is this volume so area into this length so area into this length exactly can you tell me what is the work dear students work is not just defined for reversible work is defined for anything what is the general definition of work it is the force into displacement in the direction of force in the direction of force therefore f into x now the fluid is exerting force the pressure and it is moving so therefore f into x therefore what is how much distance it has about x f what is f sir what is f what force it is overcoming p atm into p atm into area p atm into area p atm into area that is the force p atm into area exactly force into x into x what is x x is x second place oh sorry p atm into x i am really sorry okay so therefore the work is given by p atm what is ax 
v2 minus v1 is it not the same sir now dekho ek bar but here this pressure and this pressure is same so therefore i'll write this as p into v2 minus v1 so dekho ek bar d dash q is equal to you know d dash q is equal to du plus d dash w or heat transfer at constant pressure du is u2 minus u1 again the work is nothing but it is p into v2 minus v1 i can write this as p2 v2 i can write this as p1 v1 so d dash w the work is given by p v2 minus p v1 so therefore p2 v2 pressure is constant p1 v1 again it is u2 plus p2 v2 is h2 again u1 plus p1 v1 is h1 so again the it is the heat content so for a constant pressure process now you may get confused sir I am getting the same equation for reversible and irreversible. That is, P into V two minus V one, P into V two minus V one. See the difference here. Let me tell you what is the difference exactly, my dear students. So let me tell you what is the difference here exactly. The difference is. Please try to understand. Please try to understand. The difference is. If it is reversible, for the same heat. definitely the distance travel will be more so therefore more output is obtained but the equation is p into v2 minus v1 but for irreversible even though the equation is same very simple definition for constant i am talking only for constant pressure i am talking for constant pressure so even though the equation is same p into v2 minus v1 very simple sir how did you get the, you know for reversible it is p dv You have written therefore you wrote p into v2 minus v1. You got for reversible, but for irreversible, I have gone from fundamental equations. What is fundamental equation? The force is p atm into a, p atm into a. So therefore, how much distance it has moved x? So therefore, work is given by p atm a x force into distance. Okay, but what is a x? A x is change in volume. Therefore, it is p atm into change in volume. So therefore, again you are getting. Atmospheric pressure is not changing. P V two, P V one. So heat transfer is given by U two minus heat transfer is given by D U plus D dash W. D U is U two minus U one, and the work is P A T M into V two minus V one. So therefore, you have U two plus P two V two, U one plus P one V one. Again, it is change in enthalpy. It is a closed irreversible. So the beautiful conclusion here is. H is equal to U plus P V is a generalized equation. What is that generalized equation? I have shown for closed system. I have shown for open system. You can apply for reversible. You can apply for irreversible. There is no condition at all. So this is the generalized equation. H is equal to U plus P V. Now in interviews they may be asking you what is the physical meaning of enthalpy. So you should tell in two ways. So it is the microscopic form of energy of a flowing fluid. whereas internal energy is the microscopic form of energy of a closed system whereas enthalpy is the microscopic form of energy of open system then they say is it defined only for open system no sir it is also heat content if i am referring to closed system it is the heat content what does it mean in a constant pressure process whatever the heat is supplied it is equal to change in enthalpy so this is the beautiful so finally if i sum up if i sum up all the things i can say all about enthalpy first it is the microscopic form of energy energy of open system or when they ask you is it defined only for open system no you should tell that it is the heat content what does it mean sorry heat content what does it mean it is equal to the heat transfer at constant pressure is equal to change in enthalpy change in enthalpy can i apply for open system yes can i apply for closed system yes can i apply for reversible yes can i apply for irreversible yes so the generalized equation is mathematically it is u plus pv and physically it is microscopic for open and it is the heat content for closed system and mostly will be using this in our refrigeration air conditioning power plant to ek chhota sa point bata ke i'll close it i'll show you a small point and i'll close it look at my dear students what is that you know that h is equal to i repeat last one last one you know that h is equal to u plus pv exactly you know that h is equal to u plus pv okay now dh is equal to du plus pdv differentiate this du plus pdv plus vdp general let us take solids 
देखो आई कैन डिफाइन फॉर सॉलिड्स लिक्विड फ्लूड्स एनीथिंग सो लेट अस यू नो दैट फॉर सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स जनरली दे आर इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल व्हाट डज इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल मीन इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल मीन द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम इज जीरो और द चेंज इन डेंसिटी इज जीरो इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम इज जीरो सो फॉर सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स व्हिच आर इनकॉम्प्रेसिबल द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम इज जीरो सो dh is equal to du plus vdp listen carefully sir most of the processes are for so i'm talking about not gases now this is specific to are yaar you can define in type for solids liquids gases anything but now i'm specific to uh, solids and liquids i'm specific to incompressible ab gases hata dena thodi der ke liye gases ko hata dena for some time remove gases so now you have du plus vdp and if pressure is constant for solids and liquids i'm talking for solids and liquids change in pressure is zero that's why the change in enthalpy is equal to change in internal energy so please note down that so as uh, for solids and liquids the change in enthalpy is change in internal energy and let us say look at my dear students look at my dear students ye ho gaya aapka and one more thing most of the times you know internal energy is predominantly a function of temperature so if a, in pump we uh, pump the liquid from one pressure to other pressure low pressure to high pressure and what is the temperature there it is constant so therefore internal energy is predominantly predominantly a function of temperature so when you are pumping the temperature is almost constant when the temperature is almost constant internal energy is almost constant so therefore in case of pumping the change in enthalpy is equal to vdp 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 so generally i can say that in that's why in pumps what is the pump work we call change in enthalpy that is vdp 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 so to sum up all what is physically enthalpy it is u plus pv and last the beauty last the beauty the last beauty is one student again asked me a question sir aapne enthalpy directly u plus pv likha we can visualize u but how suddenly pv came we can visualize you but how suddenly pv came to your mind the explanation can be given something like this at absolute zero the question is now how this pv came into picture now at zero kelvin you know there is no molecular activity the volume will shrink to zero almost zero something like this almost almost matlab almost i'm not saying zero almost now let us say my enthalpy is there, there is a system this is these are my molecules let us say this is my system this is my system i am writing u plus pv its pressure is p its volume is v and its internal energy is u now i can define i can explain something like this. i can think of the expression like this if it is at absolute zero it's almost shrunk to zero volume almost almost Almost, I'm not saying zero because zero volume is no mass in it. So almost. So now to create this, to create this, it has to do some work. Already we have seen flow work. Already it has internal energy. To create from this state to this state, it has to do some work. It has to do some work, and that work is PV. So therefore, from here to here, if you want to see, you are getting this term PV. That's why already it has internal energy, but. from this position to this position it has to do some work that is flow work pv therefore we are adding pv so last but not the least ek bar sum up karenge it is the physically enthalpy is the microscopic form of energy of flowing fluid or it is the heat content when i refer to closed system thank you my dear students hope you have enjoyed so we'll come up with very more good concepts thank you good luck